and live on everything else? Just uh, checking. I know you're a little yeah. salty. Yeah, you need to go. Sir. I don't want to get. Hey, Jeff, we're on. Thanks. Are we good with all that stuff? Yeah, yeah. Yep, good go. <laughs> go for it. All right. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming. Where's the sun gun? We must salute it for salutation. Uh, thanks for coming in person and online. Uh, here for just a little vinyasa with whatever. We've got some fireside waterfront with friends and uh, an antiviral backdrop. So uh, have a good time. Well, I was starting to allude to earlier as I, I don't know if I'm overwhelmed and saturated with information and exhausted or <laughs> or I'll be over inspired and things start going out. I'm doing a continuing education program for my uh, master's in yoga, so to speak. And uh, I went in yesterday to be constructive and good gravy. Got in there at noon and got out of there at 10 30 with a break for some vegan people. But uh, it's. Uh, their perspective is always different. And I, I, I got into it and I was mentioning this to Amy. I, had a, I, I was almost offended by uh, something that one of these very well-respected teachers is. And she's unbelievably qualified and a wonderful teacher and stuff. But it was uh, it was weird. Yeah, I mean, and to the point in my practice now, my teaching practice, where I'm allowed to disagree with you. And I'm not being a jerk, but I just disagree, you know. And uh, it was interesting. So uh, the underlying thing, you know, the hope, the hunt, our perceptions and to be completely different for the very same thing. And I was saying it yesterday over and over again, and, and you might have landed on deaf ears or not, but it was kind of a cool way to discover and uncover and recover all that is yoga, you know? So to sift through that and find out what yoga is for you because you're truly yoga. And that's all you are. You know what I mean? You are truly, truly yoga when you're not. It's just because things are in the way. So we push our brains out the way. We're running from here, you know. And uh, that's a wonderful place to be. So enjoy yourself. Go find uh, discomfort if that's where the gems are hidden, but never pain. Hold hands with yourself and walk along that edge. Your practice is funny. I'm going to ask you at times in your practice to, <coughs> if you're here, maybe you're not. Maybe if you're in a posture, all you're doing is thinking about the anticipation of getting into another posture. Whether you're uncomfortable, bored, uh, strained, or challenged, maybe you get into a posture and you're just like, all right, I can't wait to move to the next one. Can't wait to move to the next one. And you guys are left with me. That moves really fast. But some people stay in these things for long periods of time. And all you can think about is the next pose. I'm guilty of it. I practiced yesterday in there. And uh, I was like, shit, I can't wait to get out of this. I can't wait to get on to the next one. And I was teaching myself what I should have been just learning, purely sitting there as a student, and I let my ego get in the way. And over and over and over again, and I preach this shit all the time, but it was time for me to practice what I preach. I had to keep shoving my ego off my mat. And it showed up every other breath. For God's sakes, man, it was in the way all day. And I just kept moving it out of the way, and then I would get in. And I would get in, and I would get in, and I would get in. It was the only way I could do on a yoga. So go do on a yoga, whatever that may be. And if that means coming out, coming in, staying in, grunting, yelling, doing whatever you want to do, go here. Go there. Go there. Go there. Go there. This is your practice. Be yourself as you want. And let's go. Breathe in, baby. Sit up nice and comfortable. Let's rock. Breathe in through the nose. Breathe out through the nose. My name is Pickles. This is a honey oat latte. Welcome to my yard. Breathe peace. Breathe in. Breathe out slow. Breathe in. Lengthen the spine. Energize. So it's fun. Lengthen the spine. Energize. So it's fun. Exhale long and slow. Settle the consciousness. Be smooth around the edges. Fly between the ears. Heart wide open. Turn the palms over and bring the index finger and thumb together. Pin the none of Let the hands be soft and your palms facing the sun. Lift your shoulders to your ears, settle the shoulders, and exhale long. Breathe in through the nose and feel the air across the tip. Hold the breath and have awareness at the top. The shoulders to drop. The ego to fall. Mindful attention to the bottom of the breath as you retain it for a split instant, and then you inhale big. Lifting, lengthening, stilling. Exhale. 
Inhale, feel it, trace the waves prana through your body as it fills your belly, your ribs, your chest. Exhale, slow, slow. Drop your ego with your keys and your flip-flops. Embrace the honesty in that warm rubber mat of yours. Feel the earth on your bunk. Inhale, lift and fill the ribs with prana. Lift, 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 be big. Exhale, slow, slow. Smoothing out the wrinkles. Your conscious comfort. Now I invite you to brush the back of the throat. So the breath, when you constrict the back of the throat in Ujjayi, the stress control, it's a horrible parallel, but think about taking your garden hose. No nozzle. Take your thumb and just stick that opening a little bit. Watch the intensity of the breath or the water as it leaves the hose. That's what we're doing with our breath. A gentle constriction of the back, you can hear it. There's it a little bit more of a projectile spot that comes out of the nose. It makes ocean sound. It settles your consciousness, and it's there for you. It's that net. It's that rope. It's that handle. It's the banister. You go through these trusted. The sound is incredible. Bottom of next exhalation, inhale the shoulders to the ears, hold them up, contract the traps, roll them back and down. Fingers find the floor. Slowly, slowly, slowly start to lift the heart. Hold the sternum between, keep the biceps, or excuse me, the shoulders back. Lift your heart, look up. Now just lift the sternum. Keep the head reaching back, and don't support the reach of the eyes. Just keep lifting the heart. Exhale, hand forward and fold, but keep your gaze up. Let your hands just fall. Keep your knees up. Roll the round the shoulders and back and bring the head in front of them. Inhale up, slide the hands to the knees and pull the heart forward. Swan dive as your hands at the waist. Knees up. Exhale. Inhale. Sand the crown of the head high. Lean back. Chin to the chest. Scoop out your belly. Inhale. Come through. Hands with the flat back. And inhale up, straight as a board. Keep the hands on the knees, lean back, straight, straight, straight. Release your hands. Turn your palms to the sky and look up, 45 degrees. Engage your core, warm and lift. Inhale, bring the hands together and push them together. Push, push, push as your gaze is up. Slowly bring the chin to the chest and keep reaching behind you. So reach with the hands, but keep the action pushing towards you. Exhale, slowly bring them down through center line, mindful as you go by your third eye, not to judge yourself or others. Slow by your lips, remember to say kind and truthful words. Plant the thumbs into your heart, bow your head, set the attention to yourself. Good. Drop the hands to the back, just touch the top and side, sweep them up and about. Exhale, twist to the left. Lengthen the spine, lift, lift, lift. Exhale, start to lift up. Create space along the spine. Look as far as you can with your eyes. Look farther now with your eyes. Stretch your eyes, grip your eyes. Go, grip your vision, start to step. Now close it. Ah, just a jump. Come on back to the center on top of the posture. Grab your knees. Remove any flesh from your sits bone. Good. If you got sunglasses on, take them off. Take your hands. Rub them. Rub them. Faster. 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 See, heat. Heat to your hands are almost burning. More, more, more. Friction, friction, friction. Put them over your eyes. Sit up nice and tall and breathe in deeply through your nose. Good. Drop the hands on the touch the top of the side. Sweep the arms up. Good. Bring the hands together, the gaze together. Push the hands together. Slowly bring the chin to the chest. Reach back, but keep the hands pushing. Reach, reach, reach. And on the exhalation, twist to the right. Lift the crown of the head, labor and chin. Chin takes those eyes, and then you reach with the eyes. Reach farther with the eyes. Reach as far as you can with the eyes, and you feel almost like a 
Come on back to the center. Good. Now take them straight up to 12 o'clock. Don't move your head. Bring your gaze down to the sides of the nose, straight down, slow as you can in front of you. Maybe even see your toe. Good. Inhale them to the left. As far as you can, both sides. Don't move your head. Then to the right. Forget to do your eyes. They're muscle too. Inhale them up to 12 o'clock and now take them in a counterclockwise swirl. Looking down, over, up, over, down. This may hurt if you have a hangover. <laughs> She's looking at me. Come through center. Go the other way. Up, over, down, over, up. That's it. It almost hurts. Good. Come through center. Hand, rub. More. Faster. Faster. Keep. Breathe in. Do that so. Good. So let the hands go. They touch the thighs. You inhale them up. Exhale. Drop the left to the mat. Reach up to the right. Slowly fold now to the left. Gaze down to the left hand. Push them out of the way. Send the sit bone back into the mat. Gaze up and to the right. Open your heart and shoulders. Stop. Good. Inhale up. Hands top. Good. Bring the right hand down. Reach up first. And exhale. Fold out to the right. Gaze down to the right hand. Push that sit bone back into the mat. Gaze up and to the left and send the shoulder back. Inhale up. And stop. Left hand drops, and so do you. And then you sweep the right hand across your mat, inhaling the left, and exhale, fold right. The bottom of the exhalation, sweep the hand over and start to move with the impetus of your breath. Exhale, fold. You don't have to do it like I am. Do it with like the way you do it. And move around and create these organic movements. Mindfully keep the sit bones grounded, rotating throughout the shoulder girdle, creating space around the side body and ribs. Taking a flash off the IQ button, move. Move, 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 and move. And as you drop those hands down through center one time, grab the knees, pull the heart forward. Here, heart, 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 so good. And then start your hip circle through. To dig down in, just slow, easy movement for us to just start banging some of the rust off. So sometimes we had a rain out yesterday. Sometimes if you don't move, the next day you're either ready to go or you're a little stiff. So how about both? Come back. Belly strong. And then the upper body's big. Chin to the chest, ears, the shoulder, eyes are big. Big, giant, organic hip circles just to get there. Breathe in peace. Breathe out loud. Yeah. Come on up through center. Remove any drop. Take away the tape. I'll spare my friend the five for that. <laughs> Wrist, elbow, and shoulder, knees or hip distance apart, parallel. All righty. Engage the musculature of these arms. Take them out a little bit. Good. Keep the hand of the saddle down and pump and lift. Bring weight into the pole of the hand. Good. Place the saddle of the hand back down and then start to rotate that shoulder. You're going to take the eyes of the elbows towards the front. Keeping the hands grounded and the shoulders stable, and you're going to bring the elbows out to the side. Bring them in. Bring them out. Bring them in. Bring them out. Bring them to the full range of motion. And as you come through the eyes of the elbows, come forward, slide those fingers back towards the knees, and then stretch the bottom of the floor. The subtle stretch is a little bit today to start, maybe because we overlook the subtle body, lean back. The subtle body. Everybody knows where the hamstrings are. We feel them every time we're near them. Everybody knows where the lumbar spine is. We walk back and complain about it. That's the subtle body that needs to get about. Tuck your toes, drop your belly, pull your heart through, look out. Exhale, round the back. Down. Tuck toes and belly the movement, pull your heart through, look out, pull your out. And exhale, round the back. Down. Tuck toes, drop your belly, pull your heart through, look out, my job. And you can out there, tap and warming up the thoracic spine. 
Good. Come to a neutral spine. Trying to level spot in the back, but I cannot. And then inhale the left leg behind. Roll out the ankle. Good. Exhale around the back, knee to Inhale, back. Bring it to the elbow. Squeeze. Extend. Bring it down. Tip, tap. Exhale, sweep. Look over the right shoulder. Bring the left knee down behind the right shin. Look over the right shoulder and send your head to the left. Good. Come on up through, Shannon. Sweep that leg around. Tap it into the hand. Exhale, sweep. Breathe over. Look over the right shoulder. Keep it in the air this time. Exhale, bring it back and bring it in line with the hip. Hover and hold. Give it a pump. Good. All right. Keep it pumping. Push out the left hand and inhale the right. Keep it pumping. Yeah. Good. Push the right hand down. Inhale the left. Keep it pumping. <laughs> pump, pump, pump. Engage your different parts of the school. <laughs> Drop the left hand down around the back. Need to tap. Inhale it back. Drop the rim. Try to fit in step. Inhale up. Exhale around the back. Place the foot in the hands. Low line. Run the shoulders back. Shoulders, hips, and knee in line. Hands in front. The lungs in the asana. So you push down the top to the right. Extend your left leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The balance of subtle body rock. Woo! No jokes, silly gooses. Bring the hands to the heart center, the left knee under the right. Sweep the arms up. Exhale, brush your mat. Bring your, your bum back. Inhale up. Place the hands to the shoulders, lean back, flat back. Oh, inhale up. Exhale back. Inhale up, and exhale back. Good, inhale through center, sweep the arms above. Exhale, bring them back to the table, and we'll do the other side. Tuck your toes, drop your belly, look up. Exhale, round the back cap. Neutral spine, inhale the right leg behind you, roll out the ankle. Exhale, round the back, knee to tap. Inhale it back. Exhale, bring it to the elbow and squeeze. Extend the leg out to the side, hold. All right, sweep it around to the left side, anchor with the toes. Bring the right knee down behind the left shin. Look over your left shoulder, scooch your hips to the right. Look over the left shoulder, keep scooching your hips to the right. Inhale it up, bring it in front of the hand, tip tap. Exhale, sweep, bring it way over. This time, don't drop the knee. Look over the left shoulder and squeeze. Inhale it back to the side, but this time you hover it in the air. Give it a pump. Good. Push down with the right hand. Inhale the left. Reach as far as you can. Pump. Drop the left hand down. Square up. Inhale the right. Keep pumping. Yeah, good job. Drop the right hand down. Round the back. Knee to chest. Inhale it back. Eyes to the elbows forward. As you touch your kid and up. Inhale up. Round the back, knee to chest, place the foot through the hands, low line. Align the ear, shoulder, hip, through the knee. Slowly bring your arms out to the side, ahead or down. Lean back enough to engage. Straighten your right leg and hold. Run your twisting. Good. Bring the hands to heart center and the right knee to meet the left. Step sweep across the mat, your bum hits your heel. Inhale up. Crisscross the arms in front of the shoulders. Keep the back flat. Push down and lean back. Inhale up. Exhale back. Inhale up. Exhale back. Good. Inhale up. Sweep the arms about. Nicely done. Bring the hands on the shoulders. Drop your belly. Look up. Exhale. Bring your ass back to your heels. Spread the fingers wide. Extend. Out of the for nothing. <laughs> Excuse me. And pedal it out, down dog. Go, Mary, go. My mother's banging out some yoga on the deck. Extend your fingers, spread them wide. Sternly rotate the shoulders. Relax the head and neck. Breathe deep. Good. Distribute the weight evenly in the hands. Nice. All righty. Here we go. 
Bend those knees, bring your ass back to your heels. Look between your thumbs, top step it up. Inhaling, half way. Exhale, back. Inhale, rise. Let's try to sit down, touch the chair. Hands to heart, Namaskar. A, B, and C. We gotta do it one time. I know you're not gonna love it, but it's got to be done. Partly cloudy. Remember, it's partly cloudy. You gotta summon the sun. And there we are. Exhale, hinge it full. Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardu Uttanasana. Exhale, back. Inhale, rise. Hands to heart center. Alright, Sari Namaskar. Ah, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, half line. Exhale, chuck it on, get that vessel. Step your feet back. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Breathe, breathe, breathe. breathe. Press the mat away. Bend the knees, look between your thumb, top step it up. Inhaling halfway, exhale back. Inhale, rise. Bring your back. Channels, you can avoid the touch, but by going back for a little bit, it's time to get back to the base. Big toes slightly close together. They don't have to touch, but they have to yearn towards each other in an energetic sense. That means you're internally rotating the front side. Tuck the tailbone under. Shoulders up, back, and down. The best. Now, you have a bowl in your pelvic bowl. It's filled with water. Now, we're going to tip that forward and backwards until we spill it a little bit. So here's the motion. Watch. You go through over here. It's going to be coming through. I'll flip it back. Now, let's see. So it's just this. Everybody's going to have a much better time doing this. But that's it. So tuck it. Good. Now, feel that bowl. You can feel the water going in. Look. Good. Not the upper body. Keep the upper body still. Everything's happening down low. Okay, now, come through the center of your feet. Pick up your toes. Place them back down. Now, find this spot. Forward and back. Start to make that motion last until you find perfect stillness. Level. The water in the bowl is perfectly level. It can't spill. Now you can't spill through the rest of the class. Here you go. Spill a drop. All that. All that. All that. All that. That's so in the Inhale, halfway. Step your right foot back. Drop the knee. Pull the heart through. Left out. Exhale. Left foot to meet the right. Downward facing palm. Inhale. Come to your plank. Exhale. Knees, chest, chin, bum is high. Inhale. Upward facing down. Exhale. Out of the chest. Benazza. Inhale. Right foot straight left. Drop the left knee. Pull the heart through, look that. Good. Exhale, left foot, meet the right and full. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, back. Inhale, rock. Thumbs together, arms together, push them. Push the hands together. Now, bring the chin to your chest and start to reach back to the chin. Reach back. Keep reaching back. You can see up. Keep the chin to the chest, but you can see the crowd. Chin to chest, hands to heart center, someone. Other side, sweep the arms above. Exhale back. Inhale, halfway, or to Tanasana. Exhale, left foot back deep. Bring the knee down. Pull the heart. Frame the right foot, pull it through the back. Exhale, right foot to meet the left down back. Inhale, through flat, hold. Exhale, knee, chest, chin, off the top. Inhale, up down. Exhale, out of the Tanasana. Inhale, left leg to the hand top. Drop the right knee. Pull the heart through the top. Exhale, chin to chest. Right foot meets the left and pull. Inhale, half left. Exhale, back. Inhale, rock. And release the fingers. Turn the palm towards the sky. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Chin to the chest. Bring the biceps behind the ears. Bend the elbows, count it to the head. Lift the heart. Squeeze the scapula together. Send the elbows back. Keep your chin to your chest. And keep going until you can look up. Oh, that's nice. Exhale. Come on forward. Chin to the chest. Hands behind the head. Pull forward. Relax. 
Drop the hands until I can fall and then grab opposite elbow. Hey. Okay. Upper body soft, lower body breathing. Pick up all 10 toes. Release the hand. Good. Place the toes down. Lift the heels. Good. Bring the heels down. Go grip of the toes. Exhale back. Inhale up halfway. Walk to the left. Exhale fold. Inhale up through halfway. And over to the right. Exhale fold. Take the left hand to the outer edge of the right ankle. And over to the right. Release the upper body, grab the big toe, bend the left knee, and inhale the right back up. Slowly up to the right knee down. Bring it back to the center when you're ready. And that's your pose. Inhale up halfway. Bring the right hand outside the left foot, open left. Twisting behind your navel. Release and come back to the big toe of the left foot. Generous bend to the right knee. Find your twisty and inhale the left leg. Open when you walk to the left. Take your back to the when you feel like you want to. And slowly twist it down. Release both hands and fold. And then put your hands on the top of your feet. And articulate one vertebra at a time. Rounding the spine. Hands ride the legs. You get up, bring your shoulders to your ears, rotate them back and down. Palms face forward. Tuck your tail, look up. Pull your navel in, keep looking up. Lift your heart forward. And tuck your chin with us. Oh, that's nice. So well done. Gaze into the room and inhale the arm. Exhale back. Always the option of eating down dog. You want to step your feet back to head. You want to be the opposite to head. Inhale halfway. Exhale, shut up. Inhale up. Good. Stay here in your upper face of dog and now soften your thigh. Good. You're like in a high breathing gusset. Breathe. Take the gaze up to forward. Get it parallel to ground. Rotate the shoulders back and down. Get them out of your ear. Slowly come on. Back. Alrighty, fellow boss. Here we go. Bend those arms back to the side. Maybe some of you want to turn them up and underneath your thighs if you'd like. Some of you can take the palm facing down on top of the hip. Whatever serves you. And now, lift the leg. Yeah. Go, baby. Lift the thigh. Don't you bend your knees, Shalabasana. Bring your chin down, Emily Joe Malakan. Lift your legs higher. My beard is older than you, woman. Lift your legs. Good. Release the low back. Drop the hands outside the hips, the palms face up. Take one cheek and breathe. It is true. I've been saving since after sixth grade. I really have. It's weird. Good. Take a couple circles of breath. Reunite with your mat. All right. Feel it. Now, do you hear your breath? Because if you don't, you're not here, baby. Good. All right. Slide the hands under the shoulders. Lift the upper body. Let's meet the table. Time to wiggle and squiggle. We've got the vinyasa. Tuck them toes. Drop your belly. Pull your heart through. Look out. Exhale. Down, back. Let's play. Pedal now. We've got length. We've got space. We've moved up a lot. Good. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, round the back, knee to chest. Inhale it up, bend the knees, stack the head. Look into the right arm here. Extend the right leg. Open left. Good. Left hand down, round the back, inhale, right leg high. Bend that knee, stack the hips this time. Let it go on over, lift the hips high. Fucking wild thing. Good. Bring the knee to the chest. Open it to the right. Go on the inside edge and open to the right. Good, 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 good. Don't let your hip collapse. 
Nice. Rotate the upper body. Right hand comes down. Right leg is high. Let's go around the back. Knee to chest. Place it under the navel. Touch the chin to chest. Inhale out. Left knee meets the right. Touch ten tones. Hands start. You know we got to get it done. Lean back. Lean back. Lean back. Bend knees towards me and engage the abductors. The adductors. The top, the third in your quad chip line. Lift your heart. Rotate the shoulders back and down. Fingers face down. Or your bum. Open those shoulders wide. Lift your heart. Soften your throat and the skin on your face. Breathe. Chin to the chest. Come on, fellas. Untuck them toes. Play them on. Hands to heart center. Lift the knees. And bring space into the ankle. Your chin, twist it goes right down to the tip of your nose, straight down the top of your nose. Keep your center focus. Rotate them back and down. Let's open the heart again. Open, open, open. Heart high, knees high, bum down. Chin the chest, come on forward. Hands underneath. And we'll do the other side. Tuck toes, drop your belly, pull your heart to look up. Exhale around the back, kitty. Tuck toes, drop your belly, pull your heart through. Heart drops now, knees drops now, tap and back. Down, back, down. Tuck toes, drop your belly, pull your heart through. Send your ass all the way back to your heels. Look at your hands, spread them wide, push them out of way. Exhale, round the back, knee to chest. Inhale it up, bend the knees, stack the hips, look under the armpit. Breathe. Exhale, round the back, bring the left knee over to the right elbow. Extend the left leg. Open, right. Drop the right hand down. Inhale the left leg high. Good. Bend that knee. Stack the hips. Look under the armpit. Drop that over the top. Funky wild thing. Lift your heart high. Good. Rotate the upper body. Left hand down. Left leg high. Funky plant. Bring the knee to the chest. Open it to the left and then open it to the left. Watch you start it out. Left hand down, left leg high. Exhale, round the back, knee to the chest. Place it under the navel and have the right leg. Hug the ribs, get it up. Inhale up. Right knee meets the left, ten toes top. Toes stand to that base. Let's get it. Bakasana. All week long, we've been playing with silly things. If crow's in your game tonight, that's it. That's it. If you want to go from crow to head, back to crow vinyasa, go nuts. If you'd like to practice Ekapata Bakasana, all your game, it starts with crow. The gaze must go back until it goes up. Lift the bum. Bring the knees to the back of the arms. Good. As the gaze goes back, you lift it forward, you lean forward, and then you jump. Good job. Yes, good, good, good. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Good, good, good. Perfect, you guys. Nice job. All right, come to sit whenever you're ready. Don't rush. I want to talk about that one a little bit. Look at this, right out of my eye. Okay. I love, I love, I love when I'm not doing a posture, when you guys are doing a posture, because I can look around, one, for your safety, but two, I'm learning. I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. Being a teacher and some of you can experience this is uh, it's unbelievably rewarding, but a good teacher can never stop being a good student. You know, you got to keep learning because how else can you teach? So I watched it. Ironically, it was you, my school teacher friend over there. And I watched, and this is perfect. As we experience Crow, and Crow might not be in your game, or maybe it was 20 years ago. Maybe it never was, and you learn it for the first time as you run into this new chapter of life. But what I did just notice is people were coming forward one foot down, and as one foot left the ground, they waited, paused, took a breath, and the second foot they could play up, or they transferred the weight to the other foot, even though there was virtually no weight there. Either way, the intelligence was the heart kept coming forward, so the feet would come up. That's how you guys are honestly finding these postures. It's not pure strength. He's going to be able to do it because he's young. And I coach out. She's going to be able to do it because he's young. It's strong as an ox. She's going to figure out a way to get there, period. Look at her. She's got guns. She 
can find a way into it, but it's not going to be the way to get there all the time. She knows just right now that there has to be a systematic intelligence in the posture. When your center of gravity meets your center of consciousness, shit gets down. I'm 240 pounds and old and fat and lumpy. There's no center of gravity. It's like I'm up here with a refrigerator with skinny legs and flip-flops. I mean, there's no symmetry to me whatsoever. I have to be really, really, really creative how I get in certain postures. So we're going to do it with intelligence. And I did it with ego, and it sucked. But we find a way. So, wonderful. We're going to practice that again. Oh, Instagram. Instagram folks, good time out for a minute. Stay tuned. Give me one second. Jenny will get you back on board. But either way, the humility in the posture is maybe that humility might be the thing that turns the page, you know? So that's pretty cool. But Council will explore again. So, if your game is to come forward and think, bro, great. If it is to bring the head down, great. Good there. You find that, bro. You don't have to go up. You just have to find your crow. And maybe as you find your crow, you avoid the headstand. You just send the feet back. Who knows? Just come forward. I just want you coming forward. It's scary as hell to come forward. I get it. Hands need to be wider next time, though. He's on the head. Slower exhalation, Wayne. Too hard on the head coming down. Good. Yeah. Yes, Strickland. Yeah. Perfect, Rob. Come on out. Beautiful. All right. Awesome. New things we learned. One of those right away. You. Make sure that those hands are at least shoulder distance apart. So that you're, even though you're making your way mentally through the posture, make sure the physical architecture is in place. So it's not a physical practice, but it's a physical. The asana part is. So you better find at least those, that thing's right. I yelled over to my friend back there in the back row, Wayne. He was coming to his head. This is exploring his posture. We've been doing it for two weeks now. He comes, but the head came down quickly. And that was what brought to my attention to talk about the breath. When you exhale, if you go, that's how fast you're coming down. If you go like this, just crack the faucet. Go we'll go down that side. You cannot land on top of your head, especially in the size of you and I. Too much, you know? Too much cervical compression. We don't have room for another vertebrae in our brain stem. We don't need it. Good job, baby. Make your way to stand. Good work. All right, here we go. Find a level piece of ground. Spread the toes wide. Move around so you find that sweet spot. Micro bend in the left knee. Tuck the tail down, shoulders back and down, heart is up, belly's in. Now, look me now. Look at now, everybody here. Get the arrows on this, Johnny, for you too. Oh yeah, that's it. Make sure you bowl and tip it, but you gotta move it back and forth. <laughs> now stop. There it is. See now the right knee. Bring the knee down, reach back with the right hand. Hinge forward. Keep your bowl, the water in your bowl. Lift your heart. And then dance, not a Roger. I mean, there's plus. <laughs> I go here, maybe. Oh, that's nice. Not a Roger, I go here, maybe. Oh, that's nice. Not a Roger, I Yes, babies. Yes, you beautiful dancers. Yes. Even you mugs with testicles over here are still beautiful in the king dancer. Well done. How many people have today? How many people have called you too beautiful today? Say old people today. <laughs> Pick your toes up. Cut the tail. Shoulders back and down. Heart is up. Find your twist knee. A point of concentration. Now get your ball together. Bend the left knee. Grab it with the left hand. Lift the heart. Lift the heart first. Square the head. Hit forward. I'm asking the head. Here you go, Saka Raja, the dancing invocation of Shiva. Beautiful dance, baby. Play good. Well done. Nice shot. Yeah, yeah. Good. Keep things going towards the center line. Come on out whenever you're ready. All right, it's running your mat. Someone speaking. Good job. All right, we're gonna jump back to our seat. We're gonna be wide legged stance. Seat's gonna be tired now. Now listen. Homework. Everybody has to, I, I, Ingar, I think it's Barcelona, 1980. 
YouTube BKSA in guard demonstrates he didn't spin. You watch a man at 69 years old move like nothing I've ever seen. Terribly asymmetrical. And the reason I want you to watch it is it's not the stereotypical yoga box. You know, everybody has uh, I want a yoga ass and, and all this other stuff. This guy's got this stumpy little body in the middle with a blown up belly, big arch in his back, and super long extremities, asymmetrically long extremities. Watch him, you've never seen anybody move like this, in nature or otherwise. We're gonna jump back when he jumps, he jumps everything back to forward. So you jump some of the jump. Feet are parallel. Turn the toes on the left foot. So they face the back wall. Good. Reach, reach, reach. Fold. Chikonasana. We're not staying though. We're going to move. Reach up with the right hand, down with the left. Or for whoever you got. It doesn't matter. <laughs> nice. Inhale up. Rotate the toes so they're parallel. Rotate the toes on the right foot. Extend the right arm. Reach out over the right middle finger. Fold as you touch Chikonasana. Other side. Reach up with the left. And it doesn't matter if you're doing the other side, I don't care. As long as you do both sides. We're not going to stay. Inhale up. Rotate the toes on the left foot. Rotate toes on the right. Bend the left knee. Plant the hand outside this left foot and reach. Look up. Good. Inhale up. Look up. Extend the right leg. Rotate the toes. Rotate the toes. Bend the right knee. Reach forward. Place it. Inhale up. And then over. Look up. Oh, yeah, look up. Reach for my house, Roxy. Yes. Yeah. Inhale up. Rotate the toes. The left foot goes again. You bend the knee deeply. Good. Rotate the upper body. Bring the right hand outside that left knee. Reach up. Unbind. Windmill the arm. Veer of Adrasana, too. Good. Extend the left leg. Rotate the toes, rotate the toes on the right, bend the knee deeply. Rotate the upper body. Take the left arm down the outer right hand and over to the left. Please don't win the back of your adjustment too. Stand that left leg, run the arms parallel. Lift the arm and reach up. Hands forward and fold. Cross Arita, Pado Tadal. And relax. Upper body hangs heavy. Consciousness out of control. Breath steady. Soft in the upper body. Ground in the feet. Yeah. Relax the head, neck, shoulders, and face. Be humble and service to yoga. Bow to the practice of yoga. Nothing wrong with that. If it's giving you. You wouldn't keep coming back if it didn't keep giving you, right? Find an excuse to do things other. You're too busy. Inhale, walk the hands out in front of you. Support the upper body. Good. Leave the right hand where it is. Or bring it to the center and open to the left. Exhale, thread the needle. Come to the outer edge of that right foot and open to the left. Left hand, right leg, open up, reach up with the right hand. Release the posture, place the left hand down under the head. Reach under with the right and open to the left. Release the posture. Now, your front foot to the front of your mat. I want you to bring it over to that front edge. And then look. Rotate the upper body. You can come right into your top of the top. Oh, damn. You're coming in from the back door now. I don't want you to have any muscle memory. Run that shin as parallel to the short edge of the mat as you can. And pull. Breathe. Create space along that side for 90 minutes. Never last until I were. You all got a restraining order. So I mean, uh, our social distances can't be from making that physical adjustments. What I do to have someone sit on me right now. Oh. Inhale up, bring the hands out of your shoulder. Hold the heart through, look up. Then bring the chin to the chest and send the shoulders back and send the shoulders back and down. Settle into that right foot. Oh, breathe. 
Look down between the thumbs. Stabilizing the shoulder girdle. Tuck the toes on the left. And when you're ready, inhale that red leg high. Bend the knees, stop the head. And then make two giant circles with the knee back. In both directions. Back and earnest, look over the right shoulder. Lean left, square the shin. Parallel with that short head. Push down the top of the other foot, the back foot, and roll. Let's do a couple of times. Three feet. Create more space. Create a oneness with equanimity. Breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Tearing through the guna, the veil. The mire and that obscurity that keeps the, the, the light just slightly out of focus. Thomas, heavy, Raja, fiery, and hot. You're going to find that happy medium. Stays all along that spot and bring the hands up under the shoulders, pull the heart through the top. Rotate the shoulders back and down, squeeze the stack up. Bring the chin to the chest, look between the thumbs, touch the toes on the right, and you're ready to inhale the left leg high. You like a down dog. Bend the knees, stack the hip. Make two circles with that knee to your left and two to your right. Break some rust off. Bend the knee, extend the leg, do what you have to do. Make big circles. Then release that foot to meet the other. Bring the heels together. Right. Send the bum back. Bend those knees, but bring them out wide. Heels together, knees out wide. Push them out away. Drop them down, untouch the toes, and settle into a very, very, very soft and humble child. Palasana, relax the hips. Relax the consciousness, relax the breath. Breathe deep. Breathe light. Look better out cool yard. Give yourself two or three circles of gratitude, of breath. It's gratitude. Remind yourself. I don't believe for that. Easy for that. Two more circles of breath. Think about people you left. And then have those hands under the shoulders. Let's grab the body out. Bring your hands to one side, your legs to the other. I mean, extending the legs for Pashimotanasana. Flex the feet. Currently rotate the thighs. Shoulders up, back and down. Dandasana, seated staff. All right, find this posture. I let you off the head with this too often since you've been out of the studios. Flex your feet. Now send the pinky toes back towards your shoulders. Now internally rotate the thigh. Lift the shoulders up, back and down. Heart is out, there's 90 in the hip. Hands come outside the hip, you press down. Crown the head, reach the top, then you tuck the chin. Oh, that's Dandasana. Now find this in every single seated posture we ever do when you lift to be a thousand. And now the arms. Exhale, hinge and fold. Paschimottanasana. Now, relax your head, neck, shoulders, and face. Close your eyes and look in. We're going to stay here for a little bit. This is what I want you to ask yourself. How come my breath is slow now? But when I'm in a back bend, it's fast. How come when I'm in a twist, it's short? Our goal is to keep that bowl in our pelvis from spilling and our breath to have equal length to the inhalation and exhalation. When we first get on our mat, it's crucial that we extend the exhalation. During our practice, it is crucial that we keep the length of the inhalation and exhalation the same. But in a twist, you're like, 
when we're in the back, then we're like, <laughs> and then when we're in a forward fold, it could be slow, and sometimes the explanation gets longer again. It's a great space, right? But this is all the little subtlety. The whole practice has been about the subtle body right now. So think about it, and throughout the rest of our practices, hopefully for the next 150, 200 years or so, we'll be able to get it closer and closer and closer. And then we get that clear vision, that clear vision. And you can dismiss the word enlightenment. You really can. You don't have to be a venerable monk to have self aware. You just have to be aware. You just have to know who the hell you are. Inhale the hands till they ride the legs to come up the fifth. Bring the left knee in. Drop it out to the side. Square the hips and shoulders. Take your hands. And go ahead. Externally rotate your several steps. Get rid of it. Square up now over that right foot. Inhale the arm. Exhale. Twist to the left. Bring the right hand outside. Lift, 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 lift. Exhale, get long. Exhale, get soft. And now lengthen the breath. Until they're both the same. Don't let yourself out of that twist. Inhale, bring it through center. Reach. Exhale, twist to the right. So a little counter twist. Make sure the shoulders are square. Now exhale deeply get into the twist. And then return to a natural cadence of breath. Come on back through center. Square up over that right foot. And then plant the ischium. The ischium is the lobes of the pelvis. If you don't know that, go to our route. And that'll be one on one on YouTube. <laughs> now reach forward without coming out. Plant the issue into my grasp. Come forward, 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 and fold your new shoes. Keep the ball in there. Come forward, come forward, come forward. Come forward. Your new shoes. Breathe. John New Shear side. Knee. Head. Posture. Inhale up. Bend the left knee to the sole of the knee. Now bring them out in front of you. Not like we're going to kick them back. Try to bring the soles of the feet together, but in diamond. So create a big diamond. Their feet are way out in front of you now. Now find, rock side to side, remove any flash. And I'm on a hill, so I'll have to turn a little bit. Good. Now, normally this body canasta, you'd have to feed it much closer. This I don't want you to do. We're going to do it in three phases. Come forward, come forward, come forward, come forward. And then your nose should fall right into your feet. Of course, it may not reach, but if it doesn't, it's no big deal. It should fall right into your feet. Of course, it may not reach, but if it doesn't, it's no big deal. And if they stink, you might want to refrain. You'll feel we're going to hit the hip, three different angles. Body canasta. Inhale halfway. You can grab them feet. Pull forward, not down. You pull yourself forward, not down. Exhale, relax. Good. Inhale up. Pick them up, bring them in halfway towards the closest you can go. 50% into full expression. Get rid of these back In forward, lift your heart. In forward, lift your heart. Reach the door on further and just relax the ball in the neck. Two or three circles of breath. There he is. Uh, living the yoga now. Inhale up. Take your hands behind you. Pick up your ass. Keep your feet where they are. Open them. Open them like the pages of a book. Now pick up your ass, do it. Oh, dang. Here we go. Now lift them up. Your heels should be right to your root center. The Mula Hapra Chakra. Lift the heart. Ground down. Oh. Bada Kanakana. Inhale up. Take the hands to the knees. Pin to chest. Roll up here. When you get here, the size. Or release the feet to the floor with your heels up towards the bump. Whip this apart parallel. Fingers spread wide. <laughs> All right, what are you waiting for? I got to send you a text? Look at you with your Elizabeth Taylor glasses. Somebody get that joke? Anybody? 
You got the Liz Taylor glasses on, Molly. Can I see what's going on? You don't know who Elizabeth Taylor is, for God's sake. Yeah. Uh, you weren't born by God's sake. Uh, there once was a hardworking man. He used to worry so much because he could not feed it. Now, dig here, the angel said. And the man felt strength in his limbs. He had not just his bare hands. He dug deep and found a lot of treasure. And his relationship with the world changed. Finding our soul's beauty does not give us this tremendous freedom. Yeah, it's necessary to move your fingers and toes. Go ahead. When you feel it's necessary to move your fingers and toes. Go ahead. Dave. Hold oh. oh, your head. When you want to go on to one side or another, go ahead. No rest. Whenever you feel the need to get on one side, embracing. The road of high. You just dance enough to still your body enough to still your mind enough to see. You. And it, it's fun, and, and I might even just do it again because some of you weren't here to hear it. But it's a great story. If, if in fact this practice sometimes gets diluted, when you you're like, ah, shit, that's for those little monks, you know, with these saffron colored robes. And me, out of my league, you know, I just want to get a yoga ass. And, I just want to be able to tuck my toes, and I just want to do this, and I don't want to do that. We all have our personal reasons. Enlightenment, if you're going to get it, if we're ever going to get it, if anyone's ever going to get it, it's going to be the time that we have to leave. And that's when we're going to want it. That's when we're going to want it so we can just run and be past from everything that is back to fear and the things that no longer serve us. We have freedom. So freedom as we walk through this earth and upon this earth and freedom as we leave this earth, that's not to go. I don't want to be afraid. I want to be in a yoga posture with breath in my lungs and, and uh, with and around the people I love. And uh, so she's at the end of her life and she's the last chapter. She, uh, she goes to the market. She's got no money. She got, goes to the market and uh, she just feels something's up. She's got to feed herself and she never does. She never, ever feeds herself. But she sees this mango sitting there. We all so she waits, she goes back the next day, and she waits for it to start to get old, and the girls are finally give her the mango out of the She takes the mango home. They've been walking, they've been walking, they've been walking. They're walking, they're walking. And back then, this is going back, of course, where hospitality was something you could do, and she brings them in. Selfishly brings them into the house and puts them in. So she said, he's like, thank you, thank you for doing that. She's like, when they get them some drinks, she gets them some water. And she says that she knows she has literally a ration of a week's worth of soup, and that's all she makes because she's by herself in that food. Thank you very much. So she selflessly brings him the bowl of soup, knowing that that's going to put her a day in the hole, you know? So anyway, she does it. And this goes on and on and on for a little while. And they talk, and he looks over, and he eyes the mango. She's like, hope you don't see the mango. He's like, hey, is that a mango? <laughs> I don't know if he said, hey. But uh, she's like, yeah, would you like some? He's like, I would love some. He's like, all right. She does, and she selflessly cuts up this mango and gives up this mango. She's like, so anyway, it comes down to the end of the night, the fire's going the whole bit, and she has a single bed in the dirt floor, and that's it. And she offers this man her bed. And she finds a space on the fridge. Now she knows she's in the day, you know, she's in a deficit for a day. Soup, her mango's gone, she's okay. She selflessly serves the stranger, giving up herself like nothing else. In the middle of the night, she wakes up startled, this squeaky old scruffy dude is standing over the top of her. She's like, what's the matter? What's going on? And he rips off his clothes and achieves her himself. I'm afraid to go. I'm afraid to go. So what she gave him was everything she had, and what he gave her was enlightenment, the freedom to not fear for that death. He was done, and that's what it goes to him. He was going to have to find a hand, and I'll take it. 